Hey, good morning, everybody. We are gonna do some blue cat fishing. Got my nephew Jeremy with me today, and then get Rob over here. Got Rob from Mo Creeks with us today. Hey, y'all. And we're gonna fish a local lake on the Illinois side for some blue cat. We left the house this morning, it was 19 degrees. We got over here now, it's about an hour from where we live, and the temperatures has got up to like 23 degrees. We got a little bit of everything for bait. We got some shad, some bluegill, some carp, and got the chicken. <laughs> And we are gonna head up here. We got about a half mile walk and check out what we got going on here. We got got these garden carts. Got all the gear in there, everything. And we're gonna get on the, the hot water discharge up here about a half mile. We gotta walk to. And we're gonna be targeting blue cat today. There's blues, channels, and flats in this lake. But blues are gonna be our primary target. So we're gonna get up here, guys, and we'll get set up. Let's see if we can get some fish, guys. Alright guys, what we're doing, we're walking way up there we got about a half mile walk when we get a little closer you'll see while we're heading up here because you'll actually be able to see the steam coming out of off the water and that's where all that bait fish had because there's already i can see all kind of seagulls and everything else up there but we won't get right on top of that hot water discharge we're going to hang back about two three hundred yards because it seems like the water is almost too warm from blue cat but we are at a power plant lake and they got one unit running so this water temperature is probably in the probably in the 50s probably when it's coming out of the discharge because it's got a long way to go for it come down to where it comes comes into the main lake but in the winter time because it's the 23rd of january and that the bait will be absolutely just packed up in there and this lake is phenomenal for bass fish in the winter time and it's actually a really good lake too just for everything get to all species in the winter time like i said today we're going to target some blue cat but i have caught flathead over here in the winter time so that would be awesome if we can get on a bonus flathead so we're going to give it a shot and we'll get set up here and uh, see what happens all right guys i'm doing a little experiment today i'm gonna i got a double hook rig known as kentucky rig but i've got it also set up uh, Santee style so I have a bait off the bottom got the double hook rig I'm gonna do a little experiment here I got one the old kool-aid chicken and then one piece of shad and we're each of us gonna be using two rods a piece and we just gonna kind of see what works best so fishing there's probably only like literally six seven foot of water out here but we're dealing with this water from this warm water discharge and there's a ton of shad getting pushed in on this bank and the wind is blowing into us today so hopefully these cats will be cruising this bank get the rod down and see what happens guys we are hooked up all right guys got the first fish of the day like a ton of bricks y'all it actually feels like a pretty decent fish ah uh, no i think i got him wound up on he's all wound up in the line Guys, first fish, chicken for the win. <laughs> they had all lassoed up. He was not going anywhere, guys. They were sitting there fishing. We got the live stream going on. There's listen to other guys fish right now. Yep, first fish. The old uh, Kool-Aid chicken came in. 
a little nice either size blue. All right, let's get him back. All right, first fish off the chicken, so chicken's up by one. All right, let's get rebaited and get back out there. This is exactly what them circle hooks are designed to do. Got that fish dead, and boy, it got him good. Usually get him in the corner of the mouth, but and that hook just set itself. Second blue of the day, got him on shad, so chicken one, shad for one. This guy back. Right, let's get baited up, we'll get back out there. Rob's getting a hit over here and just kind of tap around. And one thing about this lake, guys, it is infested with little, little channel cats. So they can be a real nuisance a lot of times whenever you get. And these little channel cats will travel in schools and they're like piranhas and they will just literally strip the bait in just seconds on you. Nothing big, I mean, some nice little eaters. This lake's full of blues like this. I'm good eating size, but let's get this guy back. Second fish of the day, guys, and this one was on shad. So we are tied up right now with chicken and shad. Nice little blue. Let's get this guy back.
a little bitty guy. I think it's a little channel cat. Yeah, little channel cat. Looks like the other head is there, though. Alright, got a little channel cat off the chicken. That's what I was talking about earlier, guys. This lake is full of these little channel cat like this. Which, I mean, bars eating? I mean, these little fiddlers are perfect, so. Got him off the chicken, so. But, guys, channel cat, don't eat anything. I mean, honestly, I mean, if they can get their mouths on, they're going to eat it. She's getting ready to set that rod down. That little, little guy here, I think I know a little channel cat, guys. A little channel cat on the chicken. A little big little fiddler. Got my chicken back. Well, my shad is gone. I was having a hit earlier. So I've got my cut shad, so get a rebate and I'll put back out here. Another blue, another one on the chicken. Just a little guy. No, slow for a bit. He's probably what, an hour since we at least at least an hour since we've eaten had it yet. Hopefully they'll start picking up. Still got my bait. Rod back out there. guys another blue cat and this one came off chicken so boy you hit it like a ton of bricks I had the GoPro running you hit it let go of it and turned it off and then soon I did he smoked it all right let's get this guy back boy that fish made a mess of our tackle. It got wrapped up in Rod's line and my line too. So get this mess straightened out. We'll get the rods back in water. Alright, so that fuse hooked up. Heck yeah. What you got? Alright. 
got a blue. Bring that sucker over here, Jeremy. Get him on chicken. <laughs> it's chicken for the wind so far today, isn't it? Yes, it is. Been a Kool Aid chicken for the wind. Actually, the, this batch of chicken I had a strawberry, uh, I'm sorry, cherry uh, jello mix, not a Kool Aid mix. So we ended up uh, doing that. So far, it's the chicken's uh, running right now. I don't know, it just don't make no sense because. Not natural forage, but they love it. Good deal. I got the skunk off the I got the skunk off him. So sucker rigged back up and I'm I gotta retie mine and last fish just made an absolute mess out of being raw tackle. Back in there and get some water. I'm back in water guys. Guys, we're making a move. It's getting about two o'clock, and we notice you know, way down the lake, down here, we're seeing a lot of seagulls and a lot of blue herons down there. So, which means bait down that way. And one thing too, since we've been here, we had a wind that was coming straight in on us. But in the last hours, now about the last two hours, it switched, and it's going at an angle down that bank. So it's blowing that bait fish back in that back corner so we're gonna make a move and see if that uh does any good the water temperature would definitely be a little cooler down there but it's climbed up in the upper 30s now so may have warmed the water temperature enough up to get so many fish down here so we're gonna make a move and uh see if it does any good yeah we just made our move a bunch of seagulls were diving down here and i literally just threw a rod out I had a good takedown. I missed them. I don't know how, but hopefully it'll pay off. This we're gonna finish out the rest of the day. One thing about these power plant lakes, sometimes, like well this one has a gated ass set, so they'll shut the gate at four o'clock. So we just got a couple more hours, we're gonna do a fish and call it a day, but there's a front coming in tomorrow, so hopefully with the front coming in, we'll get the fish feed. So see how it goes. Jeremy's got one hooked up, boy, that was a good takedown, guys. All right. Still got her? Chicken fish, <laughs> so it's definitely being a uh, chicken for the wind today. That's right. Well, the circle gets it perfect right in the corner of that mouth, man. Our birds get it out. Yeah, <laughs> they are very up. And I said, the great thing about them hooks, they do the work themselves. Man. There we go. Blue, little, little blue. 
getting hit right here, guys. Rod too, just some kind of little channel cat though. Another chicken fish. Yeah, Rob Moker, he is dead, dead soon against the chicken, but I think he's starting, we're making a believer out of him. on the shad finally. Nice Alright guys, we're gonna wrap it up for today. We had a pretty productive day. We had to move a few times to stay on these fish because the wind direction changed. It may got worse. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a ton of seagulls out here. But I think we ended up with like a dozen blue cat and I believe chicken uh, account for most of the fish today. So chicken for the wind. But thanks for watching guys, hit that subscribe button, and I got weekly videos, so catch you on the next one.